Hello everyone, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create data sets that are related by a foreign key using Makaru. Let's say that we want to model this relationship. So we have an employees table and a companies table where every employee works for a single company and uh, the employees table has a company ID foreign key that points to the ID primary key on the companies table. So to get started, we're going to create a schema for our companies table. So we'll start by using the ID column um, with this row number type. Um, we'll add some more information. So let's say, let's add a company name and let's add, let's say a country and maybe a city. Okay. So I'm gonna save this schema as companies And then in order to generate the data set for the company's table, um, I could just click download data and that would download the data directly to my computer. But what I really want is to store it within Makaru so I can reference it later when I'm building out my employees table. So in order to do that, I'll select create data set from the menu here. So this is generating the data and then storing it as a data set, which I can later access here uh, within Makaru. Okay, here we have our company's data um, and it'll give you a little preview of the first 20 rows um, so you can see what it looks like. You could download the file here if you wanted to, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create my employees schema. So we'll create a new schema. We can take some of the columns from the default schema here. Um, let's just get rid of like IP address and maybe we'll add a uh, company ID foreign key. So in order to do that, we need to select the data set column type and let's select our company's data set and we'll select the ID column, which is the, the primary key in that data set. Um, so let's save this schema as um, employees. And then if we preview the results, we should see, so now it's pulling the IDs from our company's data set as this company ID foreign key. So if I wanted to, I could download that data um, now to my uh, local machine, and then I could use that um, to actually you know, upload that into my database. And then the same goes for if I wanted to download the data set from uh, companies that I generated, I could just go here and download that. And then now I have my two CSV data sets locally, and they're related by a consistent foreign key.